lovelies I hope you're all well so a question I get a lot is I want to get a Cricut machine which one do I get that's not the easiest question to answer I have to say because it's all very dependent on you there are four options in terms of machine but realistically there are two main options so your first option is the Explore One, which is very much an entry machine. Now that tends to be around the $170 mark off the top of my head. I, I've not seen one in the UK for a long time actually. So I can't remember what the price of it is in the UK, but it now tends to be on its own. So it has nothing with it. The other thing about the Explore One is it's not Bluetooth enabled so you do need to either wire it up to your computer or you need to use a Bluetooth adapter. You've then got the Explore Air which is a fantastic machine and for a long time I actually said if it was between the Air and the Air 2 I would go for the Air because A it was cheaper and B the only real kind of difference between the Air and the Air 2 was that it was two times faster speed. But that is only on certain settings so that's not across the board for all cut settings that's only on certain cut settings. Whilst the Explore Air is still very much available, again, it tends to be on its own. So you're paying the price just for the machine. When you look at the Explore Air 2, it now a lot of the times, whether you're in the States, Canada, Australia, even here in the UK, you'll find that the Air 2 comes as a bundle. So you'll get other things with it. So you may get extra mats, you may get some pen sets, you may get an extra blade, uh, you may get some vinyl or some cardstock with it and it actually makes it better value for money than the Air. Uh, there is not that much difference between the two of them, as I say really the big difference is that the Air 2 has a two times fast speed set uh, on certain cut settings but in terms of value for money at the moment for the Air versus the Air 2 I would definitely go for the Air 2. That leaves us with the Air 2 versus the Maker. Those are, these are really your two big choices. Do you go for an Air 2 or do you go for the Maker? The first big consideration is of course cost. What is your budget? And it's always worth shopping around. When you look at the Air versus the Maker as the machines as a standalone, you'll find that there is quite a big difference. When you start looking at them as bundles and you then see them on sale or special offer, that gap actually closes quite a lot. So depending on the deals that are around, and again there are some great deals here in the UK, if you look on Hachonda, uh, every month they do a cricket show, uh, the bundles themselves are fantastic deals, and then you, if you're a first time user, uh, you can get either a 10% off code, if a friend refers you, or if you are part of certain groups, you can actually get a 30% off code, but you need to be a first time order. Even without that 30% off, there are some really great bundles. Crafts You Love have great sales, Hobbycraft have some great bundles and some great sales. Uh, the Maker was recently reduced in Hobbycraft. Michael's Joann's, Cricut.com, uh, they are always having sales and coupons and there's always bundles. So you need to weigh up the price options and the bundle options. So when you purchase an Air 2, and I'm on about just the basic model, not any bundles in there, so it's just the machine, you get the machine, you get a premium fine point blade, you get a blue light grip mat 
and you also get a black fine point pen. With the Maker you get a blue light grip mat and a pink fabric mat, although I have seen sometimes that they've swapped out the blue mat for the green mat, so it's always worth when you go to order seeing exactly which mats you're getting. You also get the premium fine point blade and the rotary blade and you get a black fine tip pen as well. So we're going to look a little bit more at the Air 2 and then we're going to look a little bit more at the Maker. I love my Air 2 and I still use it all the time. Uh, it is a very relevant machine, it is a fantastic machine and I don't think it's ever going to go anywhere. They are still bringing out new colours for this machine all the time. The colour range is so extensive now. Over here in the UK we have mint, sky blue, uh, there is peacock blue, sunflower yellow and there's another one. Can't for the life of me remember what it is but I'm sure there's another colour over here and then in the States and Canada there are lots of colours, there's raspberry, uh, there's uh, like a rosy pink, Martha Stewart I think has done one or maybe two special editions now, uh, so there's lots of colour options for the Air 2. The Air 2 cuts over a hundred different materials and it is a very very good reliant machine, I mean I love my Air 2 as I say. It will cut paper, it will cut cardstock, vinyl, iron on, uh, it will do felt, it does do fabric but the fabric needs to be pre-bonded first. It will also cut thinner materials such as vellum and it will cut acetate so as I say there is over a hundred cut settings. The Air 2 operates using a smart dial, so you've got some basic settings with a higher or lower setting, so there's paper, vinyl, iron-on, cardstock, or light cardstock, cardstock, bonded fabric, poster board, and then if you move the dial around to custom, when you go to cut in design space, it will bring up so many more cut settings. Really nice and simple to use, on off button, there is a load button which you will be prompted to use from design space, there is a cut button and there is a pause button as well. The Air 2 has a blade clamp and we will talk about blades in a second and there is also a pen clamp, there are so many different Cricut pens available now so you can actually write and draw with this machine. It does use Design Space, which is an online program. However, we have been told that by the end of the year, it is going to have an offline version, which I am super, super excited about. I love Design Space. There are so many different pre made projects, there are fonts, there are images and you can upload your own fonts and images. You can do that across the range of the Air Machines and the Maker. The Air 2 is Bluetooth, so it is wireless, but you can also hardwire it into a computer. You can use Design Space on your iOS or Android device as well by downloading the app. There is a very handy storage compartment here for some tools. And there is also a storage compartment here, this is quite often where I keep my spare blades and there's also a magnetic strip in there as well to stop them from moving around if you are taking your machine in transit. The Air 2 does have a little storage area here for extra tools or pens and it also has a cartridge slot. So if you have one of the older machines that takes cartridges and you've got a collection of cartridges, you will be able to put them in your machine. So you'll still be able to use those cartridges. The Air 2 comes with the premium fine point blade as standard. 
You can also purchase the deep cut blade and housing. I like the deep cut blade because it has a greater angle of rotation so it's great for small images, it's great for small fonts and it's also great for cursive fonts as well. There is also a pink bonded fabric blade and housing. I must say that it is the exact same blade and housing as the premium fine point blade. It is just a different colour so that you know which one is for bonded fabric and which one is for cardstock because obviously they will blunt at different rates. But if you want to just use your premium fine point blade for bonded fabric, you can. I do advise using the same housing but using different blades. I colour code mine just by putting a little mark on them. There is also the accessory clamp. So for your accessory clamp, you can buy the scoring stylus. So the scoring stylus is for cardstock. If you want to put folds into cardstock, then you can. So you can create cards or you can do different fold lines if you're creating 3D projects. Also, there are so many different Cricut pens available now. Uh, they will all fit in the Air or the Air 2 in the accessory clamp. And the pens are just beautiful. There are so many different packs and colours available. There are gels, there are glitters, there are calligraphy. Uh, there are so many different pen sets. So the Maker cuts everything the Air does and more. Firstly, it has more cut settings and I have to say it is a fantastic machine. I mean, it really is all singing, all dancing. So the first big difference between the Maker and the Air machines is that it has an adaptive tool system. So in the blade clamp is a rotary system. When you buy the Maker it comes with the premium fine point blade which is great and it will work in your Air. It's the exact same blade from the Air or the Air 2. And you also get the rotary blade. Now the rotary blade will only work in the Maker because it has the cog system. The rotary blade is for cutting fabric unbonded, so you can put it straight onto a pink fabric mat and the rotary blade will glide through the fabric so it's not dragging it. Uh, it cuts exceptionally well and it does very very clean cuts. When I first got the maker I did a video and I tried out lots of different fabrics and I will link to that in the description below. The great thing about the Maker is that all the tools and blades that go in the Air or the Air 2 will fit in the Maker. So the premium fine point blade, the deep cut blade, the, style, the scoring stylus, all the different pens, they will all fit in the Maker. So if you are upgrading, you've got those previous tools and blades that you may have. So the Maker currently has two extra tools that you can purchase separately. So the first one here is the knife blade. Now the knife blade is amazing. So it will cut chipboard, it will cut basswood up to certain thicknesses, balsa wood up to certain thicknesses. It will cut leather like it's butter. I mean, it is fantastic. There is also the scoring wheel, so again both of these can only be used in the Maker but you can use the scoring stylus from the Air in your Maker. The scoring wheel you can get as an individual head or you can get two heads. So one is a single wheel and one is a double wheel. So the single wheel is for normal cardstock and paper. Then the double wheel is for things like acetate, uh, you know, thicker cardstocks, shimmer cardstocks, glitter cardstocks, anything that's thicker and has got a coating, the scoring wheel does score. So if you want to do 3D projects with, you know, a sparkly cardstock, you can. 
Cricut have confirmed that there are more adaptive tools coming. They have not said what these are. We can all guess to the cows come home. We can all say we would like this, we would like that. They are keeping very, very quiet on the matter. But they have said that the adaptive tools available are going to be increasing. So I'm really excited about that. That means that the maker is ever adaptive. So as you grow in your crafting, you can take the maker along with you. And that to me is a big bonus. The maker also has a storage section here. This one is actually compartmentalized, uh, which again, I really, really like. And there is also a magnetic area again for blades. There is no cartridge slot on the maker however you can get a cartridge adapter but if you don't have cartridges you haven't collected them through the years this is your you know very first machine there are so many images fonts projects in design space and you can also upload images and fonts as well so you don't really miss the cartridges We've got a double storage here, so there is a deeper one and then a shallower one. The shallower one has a silicone base, which I really, really like because it means I can put my different blades in there and they're not going to blunt. The great thing that I love about the Maker is there is actually a storage shelf here for your iPad or your Android device. Design Space is available on iOS or Android and so you can actually place it in here and you can design straight from your tablet. If you're working from your phone you can also place it in that slot. The other thing I really like about the Maker is on the side of it is a USB charging port. So not only can you actually place your tablet device or your phone onto your maker so that you can work in the exact same area you can also charge it as well which is really really handy another big difference between the maker and the air machines is that there is no smart dial so everything is done in terms of cut settings straight from design space because it is an adaptive tool system and you do have the rotary cutter and you do have the knife blade there are more cut settings available to your maker. The fabric cut setting range is so, so extensive. The other thing I like about the rotary blade is because it glides and it doesn't drag, it's great for really delicate materials as well. So things like tissue paper, whereas sometimes with a blade it can snag, with the rotary blade it just glides straight through it so it's really good for really delicate materials as well. The Maker does have a superior print and cut. I think the cut on print and cut is slightly more accurate uh, and you can also print and cut on darker cardstock so if you've got a brown craft card for example at Christmas you want to make tags you want to print and cut those you can do that with the maker with the air you can only use white or light colored cardstock uh, for print and cut they will both take all the different printable materials though so printable iron-on printable sticker paper printable vinyl printable magnetic sheets, uh, they cut the same vinyls, the same iron-ons. There are a few different cut settings to, on the Maker to the Air 2 in terms of some of the card stocks, vinyls uh, and iron-ons. They're slightly more in depth on the Maker so they're, they're more pinpointed to a certain type of material uh, but you can still cut them on the air. It's just that there may not be a dedicated cut setting for a specific type of material. The big difference in terms of the cut settings is obviously the fabric and the wood. Now people have done wood cutting on the air using 
the deep cut blade. I personally have never had a successful cut doing this uh, and I have to say even with the cuts I did have that I finished off myself the accuracy was nowhere near what it was with the knife blade. Again in terms of fabric and really delicate items such as tissue paper I do feel the rotary blade has an edge over the premium or the deep cut blade for these items. But not everybody wants to craft with those items. If you are purely a paper crafter then the Air 2 is a perfect machine for you. If you feel like you're constantly going to be playing with different things, you're not sure what you want to do, you don't know where you're going to go in your crafting direction, then you definitely want to consider the maker. I have done lots of comparisons between the two machines. I did do a comparison video on them where I looked at cut settings and I looked at if you know I put the same blades in, the same materials, did everything the same and I wanted to see if the cut settings were better. Some of the times they were the same, some of the times there was a slightly cleaner cut on the maker in terms of the premium or the deep cut blade. Some people say the maker is noisier, I don't think there's a lot in it, but I think that is a personal thing. And I think one of the big things that is going to help you decide is of course your budget and the deals that are out there. Always worth shopping around, always worth waiting to see if there's going to be a sale or kind of anticipating when sales are going to be. Uh, definitely you want to sign up to different craft shops because they will send out emails to you, they may send out discount codes or coupons, uh, even in the UK you get money off vouchers sometimes or they'll send you a special you know, 10% off code and they'll also let you know if they are having a sale in advance so it's always worth shopping around. There are so many different tutorials on this channel. You know, I've used the Air 2 extensively, I've used the Maker extensively. Apart from the adaptive tools, there really isn't a huge amount in it. Where the Maker really sets itself apart is the rotary blade and the knife blade and the fact that it will ever move forward. And as I say, I do think the print and cut is obviously superior on the maker. But as I also say, that doesn't mean that the air is by any means a redundant or, you know, a not great machine because it absolutely is. And for some people, the air is all they need and it's absolutely perfect and they don't need an all singing and all dancing machine. And if you don't need an all singing and an all dancing machine and you do know where you want to go with your crafting and you know exactly where you are going to be with your crafting, then the Air is definitely a machine worth considering. If however you think you may want to experiment in the future and you're interested to see what different tools maybe will come out, it's worth having a sit and a wait and seeing what happens with the maker in the future so that you can make a proper informed decision about where you want to go. As always, I hope this video has been helpful. Please do subscribe, please do hit the notification bell, you will be notified when I upload new videos. And if you've got any questions or you yourself have got opinions on them, please do comment below. Uh, I love interacting with you all and as always thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.